Seattle, Washington, it's the Midnight Show with Frank Stevens. Now your host, Frank Stevens. Hello, welcome to the Midnight Show with Frank Stevens. You know, that hurricane that's devastating southern Texas right now, I've really seen a lot of nice images coming out of that. I gotta say, some great photography work going on down there. But uh, yeah, it's times like these that make me feel good. That I am not in Houston right now, because I'm up here on literally the opposite side of the country in Seattle. But I do feel bad for all those people losing their homes to the floods. And by God, you damn floods, what is wrong with you? How do you take these people's home and infest them with crocodiles like you have? But yeah, that, that image was a bit disturbing. But I, I, I definitely do not want that to be the driver. But anyway, we have some interviews coming up soon so yeah let's have a nice piano transition and then we'll come to the trump supporter interview and yes we brought in some random trump supporter from tallahassee florida yeah but uh yeah let's go to the piano transition Yes, yes, thank you for putting it on here. <laughs> so I got this clipboard here because we are about to interview the Trump supporter. His name is Danny Walsh. And yes, it's a bit difficult talking with them. As you can see, I got this clipboard here with things that we will specifically talk about because they will just go off. Trump supporters will just go off into their own little bubble and by that point it's impossible to talk with them. So, wait, okay. Eclipse glasses, you gotta go away. You were like a week old. Um, but yeah, let's get to this. So please help me welcome Danny Walsh. Yeah, yeah that's what it's all about. Yeah. So, Danny Walsh, how is it like in Tallahassee? I mean, that city is like all the way across the country from here in Seattle. Yeah, it's a hellhole. But if you just remove all the blacks, uh, it's gonna be alright. That sounds... Yeah. Accurate. Yeah. But, uh, I brought this on today in honor of our great, great leader, Donald Trump, because this is what America is about. It's about plowing through all the negativity. Yes, I can tell. So let's get started. So how are you, being a Trump supporter, making uh, America great again? Oh yeah, I'm proud to say... I'm proud to say that he is, in fact, making America great again. Putting all these bans against, you know, Muslims and transgenders and, <clears throat> excuse me, firing Andy Scaramucci and Steve Bannon. You know, a leader's got to do what a leader's got to do. Yes. And speaking of Steve Bannon, hmm. sources are saying that he was fired... For various neo-Nazi ties in the wake of Charlottesville? No. Well, you know, Steve Bannon, he's a good guy. Whether he be a neo-Nazi or not, he's a good guy. As Trump said, in both parties, there are good people. And as a matter of fact, I was a white supremacist. I was there, and I would consider myself a good person, okay? Who here agrees with me? Uh, well, you could stay silent, I guess. Yeah, thankfully. Um, well, okay. That was literally a neo-Nazi rally. Somebody was killed in that. Yeah, I killed him. What the? You should be in jail. What are you doing on the show? Well, let's not focus on that. As Trump will do, he just moves on without saying a word. So, anyways... You're probably going to start talking to me about, like, the Antifa kind of thing. And the Antifa group are just terrible people. They're terrible, they're violent, and they need to be stopped. Antifa? Yeah. It's done nothing to incite violence. Oh, really? They have been standing up against the people who are marginalizing groups, such as minorities, women, gays, transgenders, you name it. 
But Antifa has been standing up for those people's rights. Well, Trump's got to get rid of them. Because, think about it. A guy falling in love with another guy. Do you know how gross that is to look at? I mean, a woman falling in love with another woman, that's hot. I mean, I'll, I'll watch that all day. But a guy falling in love with another guy? And a person becoming a, the other sex? That's not right. Yeah. You do know some of those people are actually defending our country, right? And your freedom to say all that crap at them. Yeah. That's why Trump banned them. Yeah, we're going to have 15,000 less soldiers now. How do you feel? Well, it's better to have real soldiers than fake. Am I right? What a crowd. They won't even say a damn thing. I mean, even while... I mean, Trump is taking 15,000 people off the front lines while he goes off to play golf. He's at the front lines of the golf course. Oh, I actually played golf with him the other day. It was a lovely, lovely day. Because, you know, sometimes... You know, a leader's got to take a break. You know... You know, the riggers, fake people, and Steve Bannon and the mooch, as they say. You yeah. Know, it's just a lot of pressure. Because he totally, his health is totally due to failing. I mean, as he works to take away health care from over 20 million people. Okay, first, that Obamacare stuff that Obama put up was screwed up. Screwed up. That's why Trump is getting rid Obamacare. of it. Because Obama was the worst president in the history of the United States. Obama parents gave over 40 million people health insurance. Well, and he's the leader. And Donald Trump, he's just, he is just racist against Obama. He was put in the birther movement, and on top of his racism, he recently pardoned a racist sheriff. Hey, Obama could have been a Muslim. Obama could have been a spy. Obama was not a Muslim. He was born in Hawaii. Do you know how far away from the U.S. that is? It's still a part of the U.S. You go there on vacation, probably. <laughs> if it was part of the U.S., why is it called Hawaii? That's what it is called. I mean, why if is a your state... state called Florida? Look, if a state has more than one eye, I don't consider it a state. That really makes no sense. I mean, of course, there's a lot of things your leader has said that don't make sense either. I mean, let's just show the clips for a second. I know words. I have the best words. I have the best. But there's no better word than stupid. Written by a nice reporter. Now the poor guy, you got to see this guy. Oh, I don't know what I said. Oh, I don't remember. What do you think of that? Well... He's the leader. He has the right to say that stuff. Yep, Trump supporter, everybody. It's about time we go to commercial. Your time's just about done because we're going to transition to the next interview. It's going to be the leader himself. So, uh, yeah, go to the commercial. <laughs> so boring. Nothing to play with. <laughs> Would you like something to play with? What? Hello. I'm a seller of these things called fidget spinners. Fidget spinners? Yes, they are. You mean those things that I've heard about that poison people with lead? Yes, exactly that, except my fidget spinners are better. They're very fidgety, very spinny, and this one right here is exclusively for you, young yeah. lad. Yay! And remember, Fidget spinners are nice, they're safe, and Ooh, let's face it, they're pointy. good for the environment. This feels pointy. <laughs> yes, it is pointy. I'm gonna go play! Fidget spinners. This is so much fun! Get them for your children. Ow! Ah! Uh, I think I just cut myself. Oh! Ah! Uh, oh my god, I'm bleeding out! Ah! Uh, I'm uh, gonna die! I'm gonna die! Uh, uh, Fidget spinners. Buy them today. Order a fidget spinner online for just fifty nine ninety nine plus shipping and handling. All right, I think we're done. Oh, stop the... thank God. 
Alright, so I'm still getting ba- paid for this commercial, right? Well, yeah, that's already... Alright, excellent. Okay. Also, the, the the kid, is he, uh... Is that uh, ketchup, or is that... I, I think that's ketchup. He'll be, he'll be all right, I think. Are you sure? Because it looks like he actually did cut himself. Uh, oh. well... I mean... Are we going to call somebody about that, or is that... Uh, yeah, we'll just do that later. I mean... Did the camera stop rolling? The camera... I... The uh, button's still glowing red. Oh, I need to turn this off. Alright, how do you work this thing? Oh, I think you just... Okay, we just need to go back to the midnight show immediately. This is, this yeah, is this bad. is this, this is, is difficult. Stop. Thank you. Thank you for that nice warm applause. Yes. Welcome back to the midnight show with uh, me, Frank Stevens. So, uh, yeah, one of the great things I like about this show is that people often send me little gifts. Like this uh, sharp fidget spinner here, you know? It's a little bit sharp, but hey, I can still... Hey, you can't have that! What? I said you can't have that! Why, why can't I have this fidget spinner? The spin? commercial was just playing, and now it was dangerous, and it's sharp! It... The commercial was just on! Okay, okay, jeez. Alright, well, anyway, the next interview we have is going to be the president himself, as I said before, because the president himself is obviously much better at giving insight into the administration than that Trump supporter we had from Tallahassee. Oh, jeez. But, uh, yeah, please... Give as much of a welcome as you can to Donald Trump. Woo, Trump! Thank yeah, you. Trump! Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you. It's good to meet you, sir. Yes, good to meet you too, Mr. President. Yes. Pleasure to be here, as usual. Yes. Now, in case everyone's wondering, hey, why are you wearing Vans? Well, simple. I feel relaxed today. I wear shoes. I think they're my mood. So right now, I'm feeling relaxed. Now, we should probably get to the interview before you turn this into one of your rallies, like you did in Phoenix, where you just ranted uh, on about the... Lovely, that was a lovely day. Absolutely lovely. The people there were amazing. They were good at spectating. Yes. And that one black guy you paid to sit right behind you? That was interesting. Okay, I didn't pay him. It was fake news. It's all fake. All fake. Everyone. Fake. Yeah, that... We already got that from your message in Phoenix. Fake news. You even said that there was like very few protesters outside, and that was a complete lie because there were. Are we gonna move on? Or are you just gonna keep on insulting me because I'm a good man and everything is fake news when it comes to me? Uh, okay. Well, let's move on to um. You have not properly denounced the white supremacists. You have basically said that. Let's move on to Charlottesville. You basically have said that all the violence there was incited by, quote, many sides, and then you said there were good people among the neo Nazis. My name is Donald Trump. My name is Donald Trump. Donald Trump. Hello? Oh, hi, Davey. Listen, listen. Dude, dude. Listen. I'd like to stay in jail. I'm on TV right now. Okay. Bye. I love you. Was that David Duke? Duke? No, it wasn't. It was not David Duke. Just be clear, there are no connections between me and David Duke. Okay, that's fake news. Okay. Okay. You said Davy, and then you said Duke. Duke, 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 Duke. Shish, do you have anything else to say? Well, how about we just move on from that, because you're clearly just going to say everything is fake. It's fake news. How about we move on to your Russia ties? You know, listen, there are notes. My name is Donald Trump. Sorry. My, my name is Donald Trump. Hello? Oh, Pootie, you didn't have to say that. Listen, Pootie. Pootie. Listen. I'd love to stay in chat. You're a lovely, lovely man. Alright. Tell your Russian friends I said hi, but I gotta go right now. Okay. What? Okay. Who's Pootie? That's his first name, Pootie. Uh-huh. Yeah. You also said Russia? You said listen, Ru- listen, I was not talking to Vladimir Putin. The ties with me and Russia are fake news. They're all, all fake. That's totally why uh, Mueller impaled a grand jury on you. Listen, do you want me to take off these shoes? Do you want me to stay relaxed? That would be interesting if you took off those shoes, I gotta say. 
Let's keep the shoes off of that Yes. You know, I mean, it's nice when you're relaxed. I mean, especially now that the country can at least relax a little, that you're not getting us in a nuclear war like you were a few weeks ago with North Korea. Listen, the North Korea ties between me and North Korea are not true. They're all fake. My name is Donald Trump. So, my, my name is so Donald many people Trump. call me. I'm Four such nine. a good guy to talk to you. Yeah, with an unsecured Android. Hello? Listen, Kimmy. Kimmy. Listen here. Listen here. You have a great country. You're a good man. Your nukes are terrible. But I gotta go right now. I'm talking to the Steven Okay, bye. Hello? Kim Jong Un? No. Kim Jong Un? No. That was Kim Jong Un. No, it wasn't. There are no ties between me and North Korea. It's all fake. All fake news. Yeah. Who agrees with me? Well, Danny was right. Very silent audience there. Okay, we all know that was Kim Jong Un. No, he wasn't. Was it on speakerphone? No. You called. Okay. Let's see here tonight. You have called David Duke, Vladimir Putin, and El Kim Jong Do you want the shoes to come off? I would be very interested in some shoes coming off, I will say. Well, this foot will go right into your face if you want me to take the shoes off. I got one of those. And your secret service can't stop it. Don't you find it? Secret service. Please. Yeah, they're fleeing me. Please, please call Pooty and Tom. I love him. Well, that was Donald Trump, everybody. Okay, don't mess with my studio. Jeez. Sorry, there's absolutely nobody. Oh, there's a hallway. I found it. Okay. Have a great day. And we will miss you. And we will make America great again. All right, let's have a um, a little piano break because uh, the commercial obviously had to be canceled for the whole fidget spinner fiasco. But uh, yeah, piano break. Here we go. Back to the midnight show with me, Frank. Stevens. All right, so we got to that wonderful point in the show where I point at people and I ask if they have any questions, or well, they ask me questions. So ask, ask, ask. All right, well, let's go to this person right here. You. I wanted to know when is your birthday. Oh, my birthday. Uh, well, I mean, considering I've interviewed two people affiliated with Trump, and now it's like. I don't know. Was I born in Kenya or? Well, I mean, I guess. Well, uh, yeah, my birthday. Yeah, birthday, not where I was born, is April tenth. So, yeah. Next question. How about you, sir? You in the uh, black shirt. Right. Um, are you against Trump supporters? Trump supporters. <laughs> they are the dumbest group of filth I've ever met. Not to offend anybody, but yeah. All right, so uh, final question. We shall go to uh, you. 
You in the uh, red shirt, yeah. I wanted to know, um, is Frank Stevens your real name, or is that a stage name? Frank Stevens. You know, my born name was Frankenstein, but I decided to shorten it to Frank, because, you know, Frank just seems like a nicer name. Alright, so, um, yeah. Let me get sitting up here. So we have one more interview to go through tonight. We have now interviewed a Trump supporter, and now we will interview... Well, we had interviewed Donald Trump, but now we shall interview his wife, who I honestly think is going to be the best out of all the interviews tonight. But uh, yeah, so uh, yeah, Melania, you can come on now. Please give a warm welcome to Melania Trump, the third wife of Trump. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much. Hello. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Hey, Melania, you do know you're married, right? Yeah. Yeah. So, no, that's true. Although, you know, considering his previous marriages, that may not last long. Although, you know, he gave me his friends. I think it's um, He was not relaxed after the interview, so he was like, you want some good shoes rather than those ugly high heels. And so, absolutely, baby. So he gave me his friends. Well, knowing him, I'm not that surprised. But, uh, so... Uh, yeah, we should probably ask you some questions. So, uh, yes, I would agree. What is it like being married to uh, the president, Donald Trump? Well, he he is great, and I'm very happy, and he is the best at making America great again. Are you just reading off of note cards, man? No, you do not see anything. Okay, you do not see anything. Okay. Well, uh, that's all the time we have for the show tonight. Because Are you sure? Yes, you, you gotta go. No, no I, I, I don't see here. No, you gotta go. No, no, no. no. Oh, Ow, baby, he hurts me. Did you hurt my wife? Did you hurt my wife? Like you care, Mr. President. Uh, excuse me, I do care. She is the sexiest woman ever. She's amazing to That's yeah. yeah. Let's get you going. Ow! I'm never coming to this show again. Glad to have the whole couch now. So thanks for watching the Midnight Show with the. Uh, Okay, could you please stop doing that? I'm sorry, this hall is confusing. Screw you! Okay, so thanks for watching the Midnight Show with uh, Frank Stevens. Um, so, uh, yeah, we will see you tomorrow night. This was kind of a uh, messed up night. Normally we have more normal nights than this, as you know, but... Yeah! So, uh, I guess coming up next is the uh, 1am show with... Um, David Quirty, that is. But, uh, yeah. So, uh, good night!